Nigerian Air Force don't launch helicopters to help fight against terrorism and banditry. House of Reps don't tell service chiefs say make them win the war against insurgency. Police and Okada riders don't clash for Lagos sake of say them ban them. And one northern group don't launch their own security joint body inside Kaduna State. My people, good afternoon and welcome to As It Take Happen on Top of Zobia Max TV. My name is Na Na Douglas. Nigerian Air Force, NAF, don't set, they don't set now to display the new Augusta 109E M-Power helicopters and MI-171E combat helicopter with them by. They go launch them for Thursday, 6th of February inside Abuja, according by NAF Talk Talk person, Air Commodore Ibik Ibikule Daramola. He said the practice will go form part of the ceremony, go involve movement of military aeroplane, will go fly for low level, as from Monday, third to Thursday, 6th February, 2020. He said this, this movement now, it don't begin. The launch will be saying now, President Muhammadu Buhari go perform him, go happen for Eagle Square, Abuja. Already, like person where we wear new clothes, they don't buff up Eagle Square, as the place don't find no be small. Our Wazobia Max TV correspondent, Philip Mweli, they bring us live update. Okay, we'll come back to Philip, who will be our correspondent on top of the level. For the next story, Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, on Wednesday, show face before the Senate to explain the ABC of how he won't take form community policing and how the thing will take work for Nigeria. The meeting will happen in Sawan closed door. Now, sake of say, Senate be done, invite the police orga will be Mohamed Adamu. After the private session will last for about four hours, the orga pata pata of police tell journalists say, Security people they work 247 to tackle security issues inside the country. When they, when they call Nigerians, make them cooperate together to fight security palaver, Adamu called the beg political class, meaning Kajat people will get mouth for government, say make them a beg handle issue of unemployment, illiteracy, and other issues where they bring criminal badness well so that Nigerians feel they sleep with their two eyes closed. Make we hear them. Last year, we sensitized the whole country. Security issues are fluid, dynamic. At a stage where you have um, rise in crime, we will strategize and deal with them, and everywhere will be stabilized. And for a period of time, you see um, stability in crime situation. But at another stage, you will see the criminals also re-strategizing and coming up to commit crime. And what we are saying, especially with the concept of community policing, is that fighting crime should not be left to law enforcement agencies alone. It should not be left to security personnel alone. Everybody should be on board. What are the issues, what are the uh, things that lead to the commission of crime? Are those issues to be dealt with by law enforcement agencies, security agencies? No, there are other um, arms of government that needs to deal with. State governors, local government chairmen should take up, take up their responsibilities. On top community policing, the IG talks say different communities get their own different security problem. But he said police, they're ready to work with indigenous to solve all the mathematics where they cause security palaver inside the country. Last year, we sensitized the whole country on the need to adapt community policing in the country. And the concept is to give policing back to the community, let the community take the initiative in uh, identifying the problems that are there that can lead to the commission of crime and then we we'll work with the community to solve the crime. We believe that everybody comes from a community. And the community, in the community, you know who, who and who is there. So taking policing back to the community will help in reducing crime to the barest minimum. So I've explained the concept of community policing to the Senate, which involves partnership with communities and there are various communities. You can have traditional uh, institutions as a community, you can have a national union of road transfer workers as a community, you can have the media as a community and various uh, forms of community that we need partnership with. 
After the, the closed door meeting, Senate President Ahmed Lawan swore said the lawmakers will give IG every legislative support on top community policing. Beg police say make them no tire to protect their lives and properties of Nigerians. The Senate thereafter resolved to support the Nigerian police through legislative interventions. The police force was further encouraged to be more proactive operationally to protect the lives and properties of our citizens. When I feel remember, says Senate this week, been set up one ad hoc committee to engage security, join body them, and find ways to end security problem inside Nigeria. And for the next story, House of Representatives don't tell service chiefs, say, make them redouble their ginger to end terrorism inside the country. Speaker for, her, for the House will be Femi Gwajabia Miller, now he and this one for one meeting of Joint House Committee on Top Defense, Army, Air Force, with the Chief of Defense, Army, Air Force, and Navy. Gwajabia Miller will talk to Nigerian people, they worry, sake of the combat security situation inside the country, talk to the pressure, now enough reason for the service chiefs to work harder. The Speaker can't give assurance say the House will continue to engage armed Army, army people to see say the security wahala go end. When I go remember say the house agree last week say make President Buhari sack the service chiefs. And now make we move go Kaduna. One joint body what they call coalition of northern groups CNGs on Wednesday don't display one logo where Oibo they call symbol of Operation Shege Kafasa. Where be security joint body where they want form to tackle kidnapping and banditry for their region. The group talks say, then go launch a security joint body for the next coming weeks when they don't arrange every necessary thing for law and we'll be say northern state governors go give their go ahead. Shege Kafasa for Hausa language mean I dare you. Then they bring Shege Kafasa to cover the entire north, every ethnic group and religion inside the northern Nigeria and they go channel all their mind for the operation. The Northern Coalition on Wednesday announced say, then they display the logo of their own security operation will be say when they launch them, it will support the work of other normal security people inside the country. Talk talk person for CNG, Abdulaziz Suleiman, inside Arewa House for Kaduna, talk say, for the past 12 years, Northern region done they struggle with plenty security problem, bad economy, high level of poverty, metetra, metetra. Suleiman talks say, if the state government and other leaders for the region fail to take action onto the protection of the region, the, the way, way Southerners they do their own, CNG, they're ready to follow all the rules we go, we go make Shege Kafasa get back in for law. And for the next story, police talks say the Nigerian police with helicopter support don't kill 250 top members of Ansaru terrorist group for one operation on Wednesday for Kuduru Forest, Briningwari area inside Kaduna State. The police talk, 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 the police Talk say officers show face for one of the biggest operational camps where Ansaru terrorists they meet, where they kill all of them. Police also show bandits and other criminals inside the forest hot pepper for the operation. Police talk talk person Frank Mba for one statement talk say now operation puff other officers now then do this operation. The terror group also um, they house other bandits and kidnappers for Kuduru Forest, Briningwari, Kaduna State, and now so they more than 250 high-profile members for the Ansaru terror group. And my people, make we join our correspondent, Philip Nweli, for uh, Eagle Square, where then they launch the helicopter, where they want to use fight security badness for the country. Good afternoon, <laughs> Philip. Good afternoon, Philip. Uh, good afternoon, Douglas. If you look behind me, Good afternoon, Douglas. Yeah, tell us about, if you about look the behind me, you will see the two, uh, the three helicopter when our president just launched. Okay. Yes. Um, the president don't commission the helicopters, and they don't come out. And there are three helicopters in commission today. The helicopters go help the Nigeria Air Force and with security take battle. Uh, insecurity, all those bandits, all those terrorists, and all those criminalities when they affect the peace of our law abiding citizens. Um, the helicopters now, two Augusta helicopter and one MI 7E chopper. You know, now brand new helicopters, and uh, 
when we president the commissioner he say he expect discipline and strong maintenance culture when nigerians go to get value for the helicopters you know the helicopters will fit carry uh, all sorts of missiles all sorts of bullets when they go fit take fight and they can fly on that under any circumstance uh, this this is now one of the uh, three helicopters when our air force they expect others they come you know that to no helicopter when the uh, aircraft when nigeria uh, u.s government promise those ones go soon arrive soon when they come then go help to strengthen the fight against uh, insecurity now they'll tell you where they go carry these helicopters go which part of nigeria they will carry this helicopter go to fight the security badness You know, well, the, yeah. you know, uh, me, I'm not the security person, but you know, you get where then they park the helicopter. As we finish now, the helicopter's day Eagle Square now. Chopper, why the two small ones now go to helicopters? When they finish, then go fly them. Either they take and go Kaduna, or they take and go northeast, any part of northeast, where Nigeria Air Force gets days where they destroy the equipment, then go keep them there. Anytime when they ready, to go fight Boko Haram or terrorists or kidnappers, then go launch them, then go take off from a base, go do the operation, come back, come back up. Okay, thank you, Mr. Philip, for that update from the Eagle Square inside Abuja. And for the next story, from Abuja, make we enter Lagos State. Wahala happened for in Okbaja area of Alimosho local government inside Lagos on Wednesday as Okada riders and police people fight. Sake of say, Lagos State Government been forbid Okada and KK riders say make them not operate for some kind areas inside the state. The clash start around 10 o'clock for morning. While people with a vex on top of the matter burned down one patrol motor will belong to Lagos State Traffic Management Authority last month for Yanapkaja roundabout. They also spoil one police utility vehicle for Alaguton. As at the time where we get the report, then still they find the driver of the last man motor with them born, as plenty of people plus including policemen get different kind of injury for the fight. Report talks say, Okada riders been start one with no go gri waka before then send police to come stop them. According by some people way young with journalists, some over service security people come begin to seize other Okada will be say the ban no affect them at all. Then say police shoot inside crowd of people plus including live bullets for up. For their own reaction, the protesters will later collaborate with Agro boys, begin throw stone and bottles to police people. Several hours after the riot, many shops for Ikwaja, Ikwaja Road been closed down, sake of the Katakata. But as this, as we talk, these shops never still open. The state police talk talk person will be Bala Elkana talk say the riot start after the tax force team sees 86 Okada. He talk say nobody can put on top the matter. And for the next story. Federal Execu Executive Council, that is FEC, don't approve, say, make them supply textbooks for early childhood education from primary one to three across the country. The textbook will then go distribute to schools inside the country, will cost the federal government more than two billion naira with six weeks timeline. That is, now six weeks then give the, make them use supply these books. Minister for Education, Adamo Adamo, now announced this one after the weekly Federal Executive Council meeting for Wednesday. For early childhood care and development, and for primary schools, class one, two, and three throughout the country. The memo had 15 contractors who won, and the total amount was six billion four hundred and thirty-seven million five hundred and one thousand four hundred and thirty naira only, and. The completion period is six weeks. The second memo is for the construction of a 23.7 kilometer perimeter fence around the University of Maiduguri. And it will do so at the amount of 1,398,250,000 naira 27 Mercantile wheels has 24 weeks within which to deliver. The minister talks said they approved more than 1 billion naira to construct 23.7 kilometers road near University of Medjugorje inside Borno State and to provide security equipment around the fence. 
Wendy Dayan, Minister of State for Works and Housing, Abubakar Aliu, talks say council approved memo for some link road project for Akwaibom State and Cross River. Also, they award contract for the repair of Ajokuta Itobe Bridge for Kogi State, where expansion joints don't break inside Kogi State. Con, uh, memo, which was also approved by the council, has three projects. One is the dualization of the outstanding portion of the Odupami into Ikot, Ipene Road, in Cross River, State Stroke, Acquiable States, in favor of Mercia CC ECC Nigeria Limited, in the sum of 50 billion, 527 million, 447,708 Naira 82 Kobo, to completion period. 36 months. The second project on this memo, which was also approved, this memo is a combination of three projects. They were all approved. And it's a total sum of the three is 58 billion 938 million 111 million 892,028 Kobo. For her own part, Minister of State for FCT, Ramatu Tijani Aliu, talks a FEC received briefings for the FCT mandate areas. She lists say, a provision of 5,000 housing units, the quarry of resettlement weddings resolved, provision of basic amenities, and renovation of primary school as some of their achievements where FCT do. She adds, say, Jabi Lake, then go develop them so that it go attract tourism for inside FCT. Uh, today we were able to present to the Federal, uh, the Federal Executive Council uh, the ministerial deliverables assignment uh, given to the Federal Capital Territory. Uh, as everybody, the Honorable Minister and myself, uh, the Honorable Minister of State, we are able to uh, shed more light on the assignment of creation of 5,000 affordable housing units to the uh, Federal Capital Territory in the Federal Capital Territory. Uh, this has gone a long way already because we have ensured, we have deliberated, we have profiled investors already, and we have been able to uh, secure uh, uh, land and made provision of uh, adequate uh, uh, land for the provision of these um, 5,000 housing units. We have, 30, we have 30 hectares of land in each area council. Uh, multiplied by six, we give you about 180 uh, hectares of land uh, made provision for this uh, across the area councils. And again, in Karishi 1, we have um, 60 hectares of land already at the level uh, of construction of affordable houses for this staff scheme. The Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Goswil Akpabio, talks say then give the ministry nine, and out of the nine uh, projects we then give them, make them do, say they don't achieve five. He adds, say, they don't they finalize everything to start the much, much anticipated, according to Asit Tech Tokam, forensic audit of the Niger Delta Development Commission will be NDDC. And, uh, today, the uh, Minister of uh, the Honorable Minister of Niger Delta Affairs presented. Uh, uh, the, his mandate uh, deliverables to the Federal Executive Council and uh, we're able to uh, highlight the fact that out of the nine priority areas of the federal government, uh, the ministry is contributing to about five, uh, most especially in the area of security, uh, engaging the various uh, uh, communities in the Niger Delta region. Uh, to ensure safety of lives and properties and at the same time ensure the growth of the region. Uh, we are carrying out remediation works. We are doing a lot of training and empowerment. We are also supervising the affairs of the Niger Delta Development Commission uh, for optimal results. And at the moment, we are at the verge of concluding the due process to commence uh, the forensic audit of the Niger Delta Development Commission. For other news, Inspector General of Police Mohamed Adamu don't slap 16 count charge of terrorism, murder, 
kidnapping and carrying of illegal arms against one Taraba kidnapped king, Bala Hamisu, where everybody knows as Wadume, and also Captain Tijani Balarabe and 18 other people. The criminal charge was then date February 3, 2020, and was dropped for our table on Tuesday. Now, Assistant Commissioner of Police Simon Lao, Anthony Egu, and Peter Amadi of the legal and prosecution section of the first headquarters Abuja and then filed the case. This one they come six months after then Sama accused gives some soldiers where they attached to Battalion 93 Takum, where Captain Balarebe bin lead, say now they help Wadume escape for August 6, 2019, when soldiers attacked the policemen where arrest the kidnapper. For that attack, the soldiers for checkpoint killed three policemen and two civilians and other five other police people get serious wound jury. Meanwhile, they don't tell government joint body will go benefit from the $22 billion loan with presidency request, say so make them appear before Senate committee on top local and foreign debts this week. Senate President Ahmed Lawan now give this order for plenary on Wednesday after Chair Mo for, for the committee Clifford Odia complains say 10 ministries never still comply. Senator Odia telling colleagues say only 8 out of the 18 ministries don't appear so far. And the ones who never appear, they delay the committee report. The senator, come the back, say, make Senate give them two more weeks to complete the report. Out of the 18 beneficiary ministries, only eight has appeared before the committee. And I think it is important at this point to stretch this point. Because approving a loan of over $22 billion is a very serious uh, matter. And we think we need a very, some serious explanation for the ministries to enable us you know, uh, submit uh, our report to the Senate. Maxim, Mr. President, uh, in view of this, uh, this uh, obvious uh, delay in, in the ministries uh, coming to our appearance in our committee, we may need, have to need another two weeks of uh, grace to enable us to submit this, uh, this uh, make this submission to the Senate. The Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Power, Ministry of Ninja Data, Ministry of Humanitarian and Disaster Management, Ministry of Water Resources, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Communications, and Ministry of Agriculture. These are the ministries, Mr. President. When in the young, Senate President Ahmed Lawan contact government agencies where the thing affects, say make them no joke with the matter at all, say make them take them serious is committed to ensuring that such important issues like um, the foreign loan uh, request of the executive needs to be treated with seriousness by both sides. The Senate is making every possible effort to ensure that we, we understand why the request Therefore, we need details, we need information so that we take uh, the appropriate decisions as quickly as possible. So I will ask those ministries that have not appeared before this committee to do so between now and Monday. So I, I believe that um, this is uh, an advice that will be taken very seriously by the agencies that we have just uh, like Senator Odia talk, the ministries will never appear before the Senate committee, now ministries for education, power, Niger Delta, humanitarian and disaster management, water resources, health, communications, and agriculture for the level. My people now see the watch as it take happen on top of Zobia Max TV. It remains business and sports news with a showback. <music>And inside business, federal government talks say then they work hard to end fish importation inside the country by the year 2022. Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development, Sabo Nanono, Nayan this one when he received members of National Fish Association of Nigeria, will be saying that their national president, Dr. Gabriel Ogusanya, lead them come. And the visit happened for Abuja. He said this one had to help the country produce plenty fish inside the country and it will make Nigeria get plenty benefit for fisheries and aquaculture for local consumption and export, that is to, to the carry fish from Nigeria, enter Obodo Yibo. 
It talks say government don't they make plans to stop anything where resemble fish importation soon. Sports remain where they come. And for sports news, American sportswear manufacturer, that is people where they do sportswear, Nike don't display the new home and away jerseys for Nigerian national football team. Nike made the announcement for one statement where, where they released for their official website on Wednesday. Then displayed the Nigerian jersey along with USA and South Korea national team jersey on Wednesday and they go, they go launch many other federations own for the next few months. According by Nike, the name and number of the players go there for the feather of the eagle for the application. The Super Eagles go wear the new JC when the 2021 African Cup of Nations qualifier go kick off for March. Now the Tori be that, but make I tell you now, waiting for our pot, uh, top Tori again. Nigeria Air Force don't launch helicopters to help fight against terrorism and banditry. House of Reps don't tell service chiefs to make them end everything whether they call insurgency. Police and Okada riders don't clash for Lagos sake of say them ban them. And we also bring you reports say northern groups don't launch their own security joint body inside Kaduna State. My people, thank you say you're part of the news today. My name is Nna Douglas. Una good afternoon. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonga videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.